your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Can you understand the book of Revelation? You know, there's a lot of folks that say no. It's not possible to understand the book of Revelation. Thank you for being with us today for this, your daily 180 Bible study. I want you to look at Revelation chapter 1, and we're going to look at verse number 3. We're in the midst of a series of lessons on how to understand the book of Revelation. And this is a very fundamental point. Look at verse number 3. There we read, Blessed is he who reads and those who hear the words of the prophecy of this book, and keep those things which are written in it, for the time is near. I want you to understand something. There is a blessing pronounced upon the reader, there is a blessing pronounced upon the hearer, and there is a blessing pronounced upon the keeper. Now, I want you to think about this idea because I can remember as a teenager I being told by a, a man that I think was a very godly man, good intention man, he said, I don't think it's possible for anyone to ever understand the book of Revelation. Well, I want you to think about this for a second. How ridiculous would it be for God to pronounce a blessing upon the hearer, upon the reader, the hearer, and the keeper of those things which are written in the book if no one can understand them? It, it would be nonsensical. I'm going to bless you if you keep the things written in this book, but you'll never be able to understand it. How ridiculous. The fact is, this, this book can be difficult. And one of the reasons why it's difficult is because we've let the, the consensus of the religious culture around us influence this book and, and, and impose a lot of superstition on the book. But God says, no, no, it's very important for us to study this book because there's a blessing for the reader, there's a blessing for the hearer, and there's a blessing for the keeper. Now, this leads us to a very fundamental fact about life, about God, and about Scripture. And that is that we can know the truth. We can know the will of God. Jesus said in John chapter 8 and verse number 32 that it's possible for us to know truth. And truth is the key to real liberty, to real freedom in life. And it's possible for us to know the will of God. Romans chapter 10 verse number 17 says, Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Do you know what it is that God wants for your life? Oftentimes people are saying, if I just knew what it was that God wants, let me tell you where to start. You need to start in God's Word. Because we're told in James chapter 1, verse number 21, it is this Word when it's implanted in the heart which is able to save your soul. I hope you'll continue studying with us as we look at these exciting truths. Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.